It makes makes it all pretty efficient. You can switch tools quickly. Go ahead and get the move tool. Change brush size. And then I have the side button set as alt key, so I can move and zoom with that. Which is efficient when I can actually find it, but when I can't, it's a pain in the ass. Dynameshing right now, so just want to give you an idea of how quick it was for some tasks like that. It can be slow, but for what it is, it's actually pretty impressive. Also, I have this um, Lifebook uh, pen that I got on eBay for about $17 with two side buttons and uh, eraser, which also works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and load up some bigger tools that I made on my Cintiq. See how they maneuver. This is 4.2 million total points. There seems to be a little bit of lag, but for the most part it's actually not that bad. Try drawing on it. <clears throat> it actually works really well. I, for what it is, I'm pretty impressed, and I. I could see myself taking this with me whenever I travel, just throwing it in my bag. So, here's a quick ZBrush demo. I'll try to go more into detail um, this weekend. I just want everybody to know about this hotkey application. And um, what other, what else can I show you? Probably close Z rush. So here is Photoshop, which the hockey application was actually intended to with this um, this setup. But I'm gonna try to make my own key setup when I get more time for stuff like Z rush. I'm gonna show you how it runs. So I'm gonna do a I don't know. US paper document 8.5 by 11 by 300 resolution 8 bit color. You can see that. See how bad the lag is.
It's, uh, it's there. It's not awful, but it is existent. Let me try blending. It's not as bad as I was expecting. It's uh, not the best, but it's not that bad. Let's try a, try a lower resolution document. This one's a lot lower. Uh, seven inches by five inches by 72 resolution, so it should work with this a lot better, but I'm not sure who would actually want to work with this, besides maybe to doodle with. Um, the touch navigation seems to work well. Also I have all of these um, sensitivity flow and everything set, which I actually really like. Feels more natural when sketching. change with the uh, brush settings, size, spacing, all that stuff, scattering. Yeah, so it's actually really impressive, to be honest. I, I like it a lot. Um, what else can I show you real quick? Mischief. This is just trial. Yeah, it's pressure. Um, something I did notice, I feel like with this pen, um, the pressure sensitivity, there's more levels. I could be crazy, but... See, this is me pushing as hard as I can. And then... I feel like the lines get darker with this pen and thicker. Like it has a higher... Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it's pretty impressive. Um, Manga Studio, something cool that I didn't realize, it actually has adjustable uh, user interface. This one is I think the medium resolution with the buttons um, with a easier layout for touch. If you go into edit, 
or I'm going to file preferences. You can pick interface, um, small, default, large. Let me try default. This is small, so let me try default and show you guys that. 